The next thing we like to go through with every dog is the skills test. The skills test involves over 21 items, which we will now cover. Accepting a friendly stranger. This exercise demonstrates that the dog will allow his owner to greet strangers without the need to interact with the stranger. The dog simply sits quietly while his owner speaks to and greets another person. Accepting petting. This behavior demonstrates that the dog will sit quietly when a stranger approaches, pets her, and the owner and dog team demonstrates appropriate social skills and control for such interaction. Appearance. This exercise demonstrates that the team's appearance is suitable for visitation within a clinical facility or community outreach program. The dog welcomes being groomed and touched by a stranger. The dog's appearance is also a reflection of the handler's appearance. Out for a walk. This behavior demonstrates that the handler is in control. Neither pinch collar nor gentle leads are allowed. The dog will walk comfortably by the owner's side with no evidence of pulling or desire to lunge forward. This behavior should demonstrate a true team approach to training. Walking amongst a crowd. This exercise should demonstrate the dog's ability to calmly walk through a crowd of people. The team should be able to move about in a crowded public area politely as pedestrian traffic moves by. It also demonstrates the dog is under control in crowded public areas. Reaction to unpredictable distractions. This behavior demonstrates the dog's ability to remain calm and focused when faced with unexpected distractions. Within a social situation, your dog should not react to approaching dogs, people, children, or distracting objects or equipment. This exercise also demonstrates the owner's confidence in dog's reaction. Sitting on command, down on command. These two exercises demonstrate the dog's mastery of sitting and lying down. If asked to do so, the dog should also respond to a stranger asking him to either sit or lie down. Staying in place. This behavior demonstrates the dog's comfort in being asked to stay in place with activity going on around them. The owner will be asked to walk out of sight momentarily while the dog remains in a stay position. They may go from a down to a sit or a stand as long as they don't move from the place in which they have been put. Coming when called. This exercise demonstrates that the dog will leave pleasant distractions and come to the owner. Reaction to another dog. Although there should not be more than two dog volunteer teams present together at a given visit, this test demonstrates the dog's ability to remain calm, in tune with his owner, and neutral in the presence of another dog. The volunteer is also aware of their dog's potential response and can help the dog remain focused. Supervise isolation from handler. Rarely, if ever, should a volunteer be expected to leave their dog. However, this exercise demonstrates the dog's ability to cope being held by a stranger. The dog remains calm, does not bark or whine when left with a stranger for a period of approximately three minutes. Give and take. There may be times during a visit that your dog will receive a treat. Be asked to give up or take the toy. This demonstrates the dog's willingness to take and treat gently from a stranger or share his toy willingly with a stranger. Leave it. There may, may be articles on the floor which should not be touched by your dog. This behavior again demonstrates the volunteer's ability to control the dog as well as the dog's self-control. When told to leave it, the dog should not touch or sniff a particular item. Tricks. Although you will not always be called upon to demonstrate your dog's showmanship ability, we ask that your dog be able to perform two or more tricks exclusive of sit and shake. We would ask that all dogs, when asked to do so, could perform a simple shake with anyone who extends their hand. Introductions and Handling 
This exercise demonstrates the dog's overall tolerance to being greeted and touched by strangers. The dog should accept being examined and touched on the ears, mouth, tail, feet, and overall body by a stranger. It also demonstrates the volunteer's ability and knowledge to introduce her dog to strangers as well as help her dog tolerate being touched by unfamiliar, often rough or clumsy hands. Enthusiastic and Clumsy Petting This exercise demonstrates the dog's ability to tolerate those people who exhibit poor motor skills and may pet the dog roughly, awkwardly or even clumsy. It also will assist you in determining your dog's tolerance to very young children, babies and toddlers. A restraining hug. Dogs often bring out a desire to hug or hold on to very tight. It is essential that the dogs being able to accept this type of treatment. This exercise demonstrates the dog's ability to tolerate restraints as well as the volunteer's ability to assist the animal when comforted with those individuals. Hopefully this has given you insight as to what is involved to train and certify a therapy dog. I also hope that it has enlightened you to how therapy pets help in reducing stress, provide an emotional outlet, and aid in socialization. Florence Nightingale wrote that pets made excellent companions for sick people. Recent studies have shown that um, animals have healing power. Pets help older people outlook and their lessened fears and despair and loneliness uh, and isolation and add a sense of security. Pets make nursing home facilities feel more like home. By being non-judgmental, non-threatening, and safe emotionally of a dog's unconditional love, which no human can ever give. We hope that this will help you, and if you're interested in training your dog or your family pet to be a therapy animal, we hope that you will get involved.